Okay, sign on process complete. Let's make my way on board. Hello, explorer of the seas. All of us crew members here ready to start our contracts. Let's see what the next couple of weeks has in store for me. And just like that, welcome to Explorer of the Seas. It's kind of crazy how one minute I'm on board Symphony of the Seas on one side of Europe, and now here I am on another ship in Greece. Today I'm actually docked in Athens. This is my first time ever being in this country. Unfortunately, the weather is not the best today and it is expected to rain any minute now. So I am trying to film this sort of relatively quickly, but I do want to give you guys an update as to what my situation is on board Explorer of the Seas now because I didn't really fully explain. Well, that's because I actually didn't know what I was getting myself into. So my last few days on board Explorer of the Seas has been very, very interesting. And I think it's okay for me to actually explain what the situation is now. Because when I last left you, I mentioned that there was a situation on board this ship that required the company to transfer me from Symphony over here. And basically what the situation is, and to my surprise, when I came on board the ship, there were no casino hosts on board the ship at all. That was kind of the emergency. Well, I say kind of, that was the emergency. There are no casino hosts on board this ship because of medical reasons. Unfortunately, both the casino hosts that were assigned on this ship, uh, for two different reasons, had to sign off the ship for medical issues and I was brought over to basically fill in. Now, this was definitely a bit of a shock to me when I arrived. I definitely wasn't expecting to come on board the ship and have no casino host team on here whatsoever and I was basically thrown into a situation where I am effectively now the casino host in charge. This is the first time I have ever taken on a ship by myself. This was definitely, like I said, it was a bit of a shock but also quite challenging but in a good way. It's actually tested me to the point where I had to step up without really preparing myself and I was in a situation where I'm in control of almost everything from the casino host uh, point of view. But to tell you the truth, I've actually surprised myself in terms of what I'm actually capable of. Being here by myself, managing my own time, managing my own work schedule. It's, it's weird, like when you're thrown into a situation, you will find ways to actually just make things happen. And being here on my own, I've actually proven to myself that I am more than capable of doing this job on my own. Obviously, I would prefer to have a team and, you know, work with other people. It does, I guess it does feel a little bit lonely sometimes doing everything by myself, but at the same time, hey, Chris Wong's here, the only casino host on board the ship. It kind of makes me feel like Superman. <laughs> So Explorer of the Seas is a much smaller ship for those of you who aren't aware, especially compared to Symphony of the Seas. This is a Voyager class ship in the fleet. I have worked on a ship of this size before, Mariner of the Seas, but this ship, Explorer of the Seas, is definitely a bit older. I mean, you can sort of see when you're walking around the ship things do feel a little outdated and there are certain venues around the ship as well like the names of the venue i have never heard of before on any royal caribbean ship that i've been on and i'm looking at it like what is this especially the crew areas like there are certain parts of our crew areas where you just look at it and you think wow that has been here a long time. But overall, Explorer of the Seas is a very, very nice ship. I think it is probably the oldest ship I have worked on to date in my entire career. The staff here is fantastic. Like I came here a little nervous being by myself in terms of the casino host team, but the rest of the casino staff, the management, the dealers, the cashiers, they welcomed me with open arms. They were so nice to make me feel you know, just that home. They made sure I had everything that I needed in order to do this job. They were all aware that this is the first time, not only am I being the casino host in charge for an ex extended period, but this is the first time I'm doing this by myself. It's very rare that casino hosts will be in a situation where they will be by themselves. Like I said, this has been overall a good challenge for me. It's tested me and so far, so good and I'm definitely very proud of myself in what I've been able to do. So right now the plan is still intact. 
I am still expected to transfer back to Symphony of the Seas relatively soon. My replacements will be coming here in the next week or two and the journey can see oh excuse me I think my lunch is still being digested I am expected to go back to Symphony of the Seas as scheduled I'm very excited to go back and just you know almost get my life back to how it was before good morning guys and welcome to Mykonos Greece my first time in this destination I have just come off Explorer of the Seas. It was a tender, so we did have to come round to the other side of the island. And I'm just having fun exploring this new port of call for me today. This is definitely somewhere that I've always wanted to visit. I'm very excited to see what this town has to offer. Now the good news is, is that Odyssey of the Seas is also docked here today, so I'm going to be meeting up with a few of my friends. But the vibes of Mykonos, Greece today is amazing. The weather is so nice. The old town is literally just here. We're gonna be looking for some food later. I'm just waiting for the guys to get off the ship. First things first, let's get some breakfast. Italian squad having breakfast here. What's up guys? Breakfast, breakfast brunch, whatever it is. Here's the cafe. An incredible selection of pastries. We're not gonna to eat too much here because we are gonna try and get some lunch food. But I did wanna show you in the vlog what there is to offer so far so far so good so we've now made our way to the old town and I can honestly say this looks just like what you see on Instagram the cobbled streets the white sort of buildings exploring the town now walking up and down these cobbled streets and I want to try and get like a higher view to try and take some nice pictures for the Instagram but uh, so far this is just a really nice town to walk around. So walking through these streets is actually very, very cool. But what I will say is it's a bit more touristic, I think is the word I'm looking for, than I thought. Like there's a lot of shops, a lot of places to eat, and it is actually quite busy. Now it's the beginning of June as I'm recording this, and there is people everywhere. So I can only imagine what it's gonna be like I don't know, as we go into July, when the summer actually starts. So we're taking advantage of this opportunity. Well, actually, this is the only opportunity I'm gonna get to visit Mykonos. So I'm here, I'm here with the Odyssey team. We have just got our food. Look at this. A huge, massive crepe of some sort. This is biscuit and Nutella. But look what Giuseppe and Teresa got. This mountain of ice cream and... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Teresa got it and Giuseppe just followed. So. Yeah, this is the most expensive dessert we're gonna have, but hey, it looks damn tasty. And we have our waffle over here. Snickers. What is Snickers, right? Yeah. Oh my god. The size the size of this one. Wait, wait, pick, pick, up, pick up the plate. Let's see how big it is. My god, jeez. <laughs> yes, Giuseppe, get it. <laughs> See, first we were in Alaska, then we went to then we went to Caribbean, and now we're in Europe. The adventures continue. What do you think of the windmills? Put them here. And what does it do? It clearly does not move. Well, that's gonna do it for my quick trip to Mykonos today. Unfortunately, it was just for a few hours. I said goodbye now to the Odyssey team. It was very nice to see Giuseppe and Teresa once again. I've been friends with them now since last year when we did our contract on Ovation of the Seas. So it's cool that we get to see each other in all these different places. We were in Alaska last year. I saw them at the beginning or towards the beginning of this year in Coco Cay in the Caribbean. And now here we are in Europe making the most of you know the the times that we do get to actually spend with each other but now i'm going to head back to the ship uh, you can see i'm not i'm there it is well explorer of the seas is somewhere in the background and i do need to get the tender to go back because i gotta start setting up for work so as for now my first time ever in greece complete mykonos you were fantastic
Ah, good afternoon guys, welcome to Croatia. This is the first time I'm in Split. Now unfortunately, not only is it raining today, but it's also thunder. So not the most ideal time to be walking around this port, but this is the one and only time I'm gonna get the chance to visit Split. So of course, I have quite naturally forced myself to come out, had to buy an umbrella, 10 euros, but look where I am right now. So let me just put my umbrella down. Look at my surroundings. So I've literally just walked off the ship. Me and a few of the casino guys have come out for some lunch today. But before we look for a restaurant, I've come across this interesting statue behind me. I'm not sure what the deal is, but this guy, everybody is at the bottom touching his feet. I mean, let me try and get a better shot of the, of the foot. Excuse my umbrella. But look at this. Hey, make a wish. Make a wish when you touch his feet? Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, okay. There you go, Federico. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if anybody knows what the story with this guy is, let me know in the comment section. We're gonna check out this castle or fort of some sort now. It's apparently there's a Game of Thrones store inside, which I wanna check out. Obviously, a lot of the Game of Thrones was filmed here in Croatia, not split. Most of it was Dubrovnik, but there are some Game of Thrones uh, attractions or features that I want to try and find today. So this is what I'm talking about. They have like stores and museums all along this. I, I really should have done some research. This is, I keep calling it a castle. I don't even know exactly where I am, but this whole area is quite interesting. But there is a lot of Game of Thrones merch. Like I said, this is a museum. So we've just arrived in the restaurant and this is the local beer that they have. I'm a big fan of the shape and size of this glass. Half a litre. Welcome to Croatia. So we ordered a meat platter to share. We have a whole bunch of steaks, sausages, fried mushrooms, onions and some potatoes at the bottom. It's like a very interesting dish. It should be enough for the three of us, so let's see how we make of this. So that was an interesting dish. They, they advertise that it is one kilogram. Maybe one kilogram. Yeah, of meat. maybe we do, yeah. Yeah, well, it's a bit debatable as to whether that was one kilogram of meat, but um, food was alright. It's waiting for dessert. Yeah, dessert's coming, dessert's coming. They're just watching my YouTube videos now. <laughs> <laughs> so, luckily for us, the rain has slowed down a little bit, so what we've decided to do is walk along the marina now try and take some nice pictures i have to get at least one good instagram for my one and only time in croatia and probably the only time i'm gonna see it ever i mean we are docked in dubrovnik a little later on in the cruise but it, it's an early sail so i don't really know if i'm gonna have time to go out actually into dubrovnik which is a shame but split has been a nice day today so we're slowly making our way back to the cruise ship now you can see explorer of the seas somewhere here but we're just taking some photos along this street along the marina. They're actually very, very pretty. And we're lucky now because the rain has stopped and the sun is slowly coming in and out. But I can imagine how beautiful this would look if it was a bright, sunny day. This is what I like about my two week stint <laughs> on Explorer. I got to see Greece, I got to see Croatia, two brand new countries, a whole bunch of destinations. And oh, there's Explorer. The water looks like, uh, I don't know, there's like no wind at all. Look how still the water is, it looks like a sheet. Of silk and just like that back to the cruise port hello explorer of the seas my home for just a few more days so for those of you who have not seen a voyager class royal caribbean ship before here you have it i would say it's a mid-sized ship within our fleet so it's not the smallest but it's certainly not the biggest definitely fits right in the middle and it's smaller than Freedom Class, if that helps any of you guys out put things into perspective of the size of the ship. All right, a so very good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Santorini. Now, the cable car that you just saw, we waited in line for two hours two two and a half two hours, and a half actually, yeah. for that cable car to come all the way to the top into the town it's no joke so if you can leave the ship early as possible that is my highest recommendation yep. but we made it here to the town and we are looking for a church to try and find the best view but look at this 
this is the scenes that we are blessed with right now. You can see the cruise ships at the bottom. Ah, oh, look, there's Explorer of the Seas. That's our home. There you go. <laughs> Two hours from there to here. Long queue, actually. This it's the is. longest line I've ever seen in my life. Wow, look at this review. So I just walked past this roof here, and you can see all of the white. Hello, Santorini. Look at that. Doesn't look real. Three cruise ships in today. Not too bad. You can see all the little sailboats as well. And I've got some nice music being serenading right now. Look at the vibes. Oh, Greece, you have pleasantly surprised me. So how's, how's the view? <laughs> Good. Yeah, you enjoying it? Of course, it's look amazing at, view. Look at my surroundings right now. It's an amazing view, actually. Well, I, I still haven't put into my head that I'm in Santorini right now unbelievable scenes. So if you couldn't tell, this is a very, very hot day in Greece right now. I think we are pretty much at the beginning of the summer. 23 degrees centigrade. It's actually my ideal temperature for what I consider as hot. And there are so many hotels, suites and pools here, apartments. If I ever come back here on a real vacation, a real holiday, I would love to just stay along here with the view of the water and all the buildings and the mountains. This is definitely up there as a potential honeymoon destination, hopefully one day. Bro, can you see it? We can see the cathedral. But before we get there, look at this, man. Oh, so pretty. Oops, sorry, I <laughs> lost my footing there. There are definitely not a shortage of restaurants. I do think we are gonna look for a kebab or a gyro as they call it. On the way back, we can eat it in the line as we get the cable car back down. This is what I think of right here when I see Greece. When I picture it in my mind, the blue <laughs> around the windows, the blue on the rooftops. Ah, pleasant day in Santorini. I wanna know, how do they keep everything so clean? It's like, it's so white, every building, every wall. Unbelievable. If, I don't know, if this was in England, it would be so dirty right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, we do have to start making our way back to the ship. We only have a limited time here because we do have to take into account the two hours we spent coming up here and now it's probably going to be two hour wait going back down. So it does make our day a lot shorter and we do have to start getting ready for work at some point today as well, but it's totally worth it. Two hour wait up, two hour wait back in the cable car. If you guys are gonna do this ever, I 100% recommend. It's six euros if you guys wanna pay for a ticket uh, each way. For crew members, it was one euro. <laughs> so for lunch today, we had to pick up a gyro, which is a classic in Greece. It's basically a kebab full of, I think I got doner meat in mine, fries, vegetables, Onions, sauce, very, very tasty lunch today. Wow, all of the donkeys. Hello guys. Just casually walking through the town. Just a typical day in Santorini, but this unfortunately is the line to get the cable car back down to the cruise ships. Can you imagine you have to walk? Yeah. Well, some people did walk. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look. See? Yeah, that's the longest flight of stairs I've ever seen in my life. Just like that, my time on Explorer of the Seas is complete. Well, actually, not quite. I need to give you guys a little update as to what is happening with me and my situation right now. So today is the last day of the cruise. I have just completed my second cruise on board Explorer of the Seas and tomorrow I was supposed to be heading back, transferring back to Symphony of the Seas, but the circumstances and situation on board is a little, has proven to be a little more complicated and now 
I am going to be staying on Explorer of the Seas for another two weeks. So now my time to transfer back to Symphony of the Seas has been delayed for another two cruises at least, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm actually having a very nice time on Explorer. Things are working out for me very, very well. I do get to spend a little more time now in Greece and Croatia, but a little part of me is slightly annoyed as well because, well, I did have my hopes set on actually going back to Symphony at this time. Like, I don't like being told one thing and then almost last minute being told, oh, actually, the plans have changed again. For a while, I really did think that I would be heading back to Symphony of the Seas tomorrow. But now I was told, like a couple of days ago, look, we're gonna need you to stay just a little bit longer and then you will transfer back to Symphony of the Seas. So that is the latest update from me. I hope you've enjoyed today's cruise vlog and updates as to what I've been up to. A lot of you have been curious to know what I have been doing over the last two weeks since I announced I was being transferred over to this ship. I hope you've enjoyed getting to see parts of Greece and Croatia so far and I look forward to showing you a little bit more now. To all of my friends on board Symphony of the Seas, I'm still coming, all right? Just be patient, just wait for me. I will be back, but for now, at least for two more weeks, I will be here on board Explorer of the Seas. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching today's cruise vlog, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. I've been Chris Wong, see you later. Peace.